three more races are on our schedule this week, and I know I'm still thinking about what my buddy wishes for the Jumpman for. So go ahead and follow while I think about it. Alright, Brandon, thinking wisely. Now, for race number 10 this week, we have Jeff Nowis, Lewis Charleston, Kyle Richman, and Chris Schneider of the famous Classic Go-Getters. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the bus! And there goes Chris Schneider busting down the line. He skyrockets ahead of the pack. The elf reach out trying desperately to catch up to him in a hurry. And it looks like Jeff down is what it is. And it looks like Chris Schneider is dancing to be at the current moment. Now he dances and now he's off again. He is leaving Kyle Richmond in the dust. And it looks like Lewis Charleston is going best. That means Kyle Richmond will have full control of second place as he heads for the water. As the first superstar against Peepus is not Moomal, who's trying to leave the other super channel and Lewis Johnson in the dust. And number eight is for the rest. And number eight falls is for one. So now he's going to be left behind in the competition all the way in the back. As Peepus number two in this race, we made by Jeff Nowitz. He leaves number one in the dust. Now trying to catch up to the others in the hunt. And by now it is Chris Schneider who leads over Kyle Richman on the car one, heading into the sapphire portion of the course. Chris Schneider trying to bounce back from last week's tough loss. It was a heartbreaker indeed. But it was an upset for sure, as number two will have the next command spears. He's trying to lead number one in the dust. We're passing the one minute mark in the society race. Core number eight is getting left behind on the pack. He needs to get a couple of speed bars, and I mean now. But let's head back to number two. He prevails over number one in a hurry. He is number one in the dust. Now bowing in Lewis Charleston. Meanwhile, Chris Schneider seems like he has a little bit of more breathing room ahead of Kyle Richman. Will Kyle Richman get an upset victory, or will Chris Schneider hold on for the victory? I think Chris Schneider's going to hold on for the victory. Next to us belongs to Lewis Charleston, who is battling with Jeff Nass for third place in fact. Number eight really wants a speed bus, but I'm afraid he is going to hit the wall first. So the next speed bus is going to be made by Kyle H. Pair, who dominates the power going in second place. But it is Chris Schneider of the Classic Doggers, who has his face all wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. As number eight takes the next speed bus, now we went up for Chris Schneider. He overcame last year, last week's upset. To secure an easy bid rate over the competition. One deal. Kyle H. Man will come in second, and it looks like Bruce Charleston will have to sell for third place ahead of that. And we have just enough time for one more speed bus of this sign race, and it will be made by number seven. I think that's going to do it for this place. Yep, he dominates over the four silver channel after that speed bus. Number two has no hope for surviving whatsoever. He is going home. Alright, so Chris Schneider is back on the right track for his first career title. Let's hope he does well in the only one. Coming up, there's more on action for you, but first of all, get this.